Vladimir, are you okay? Hi. Um, yes. I know it's obviously early because of the last night's game, but how are the squad looking today? Uh, players who played most of 45 minutes, they have recovery and uh, they didn't work uh, outside. Uh, the players who play less than 45 minutes and the players who stay out of the squad, uh, they work normal. You know, we work with the 10 players and finish the morning session. Uh, me too. I believe that everybody is okay. We don't have some some problems. Uh, you know, sometimes we need to wait and uh, more than uh, 24 hours to to, to, to to see the reaction of the the players uh, and to see who will be available for the next game. Andre Gray and Will Hughes are they okay after their little roles yesterday? Yes, uh, they are play. Andre play more than uh, Brent than Will, but uh, it's happened because of the of the games. How games going on? Uh, you know, I couldn't uh, I couldn't uh, put him more, but uh, about the about the Will. Uh, but again, yes, he is the guy who who is now ready. Maybe he will be available and for the game on Saturday. Maybe to start with him. Maybe not. Maybe to come from the bench. We need to take decision uh, uh, until tomorrow uh, to see. If, uh, if he can uh, be be starter or not. Sometimes managers will give it 10 games to decide how they feel the season has started for their team. You kind of reach the 10 game mark and take it from there. How would you assess the 10 games so far? Are you where you thought you would be? Listen, it's 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 uh, you know that it's my first year in the championship and uh, I, I before I came here I watch uh, lot of games uh, from this competition and I have my opinion but now it's uh, for sure more clear and um, if we speak about uh, my team I believe that we, we are uh, a team who can do a lot in this championship uh, but normally that we need to adapt we need to uh, fix some some problems what we have in our games uh, like every team and uh, this uh, on this we work now it's strong competition. It's the competition where everyone everyone can beat everyone. You don't have easy points nowhere. Uh, the last thing can beat first team. That means too. It's uh, it's a very competitive uh, uh, league, and uh, you know the the lot of teams play s similar football. We have some teams who play a little bit different, but uh, again. Uh, um, I try to, 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 to be concentrated on my team and to, to, to do with them this what we want from us uh, and how we want to play during the games. We spoke last night, Vladimir, about the mistakes that your team were making that were leading to the goals. I, I just wonder whether dropping down a level to the Championship, having played in the Premier League, are the players, has their approach changed slightly? Perhaps are they, could, could they be seen as a bit too casual? I don't know. What do you feel? No, it's uh, we know uh, before before start the championship this year that uh, uh, we will have some we expect some kind of the problems uh, to adapt because it's totally different. Okay, uh, first because it's a different way how to play in the championship and how to play in the Premier League. Uh, second is uh, that we know that here in the championship you don't have what. Okay, what is very important. Uh, uh, we know that uh, beginning of the years, uh, at beginning of the championship, it was not uh, good on, the, on psychologist uh, for, 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 for our players, I believe, and for other players who is relegated the same, not just for, for, for us and for other two teams. Uh, but with all these things, we need to live, we need to, to, to work, we need to, to fix uh, these uh, problems, what we have, and uh, you know, we need to speak a lot with them to to understand, uh, first of all, to understand, to recognize the problems and after to work to fix these problems. Um, we do it, we are on this process and I believe that we will fix it. And just a final one from me. Generally, have you been pleased with the attitude of the players having dropped down to the championship in these first 10 games? You know, you have some games where we play. I believe that in the two last games, we, we did a progress in our game. We did a progress in our ball possession. We did a progress in our uh, passing drill. Uh, um, believe that we, we improve uh, we improve some, some, some things in our, some details in our attacking, uh, attacking shape. Uh, I believe that players understand uh, now the way how we want to play. If we play with five, if we play 
sometimes uh, if he if he choose to play in it four, uh, we work day by day uh, for 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 our uh, uh, for our game how to improve it and uh, you know if I'm satisfied if I'm happy from them or not I believe that they try they they give their best uh, they they work hard you know uh, but uh, again uh, all of us knows that we can do much better and uh, uh, we want to do it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Hello. So, um, Ken Summer said after the game, when talking to the club, uh, he said, we are back. Uh, do you, does it feel like there's more confidence in the squad and in the dressing room after that game? You know, after the victory, normally that um, you have a more smiling in the dressing room, that the players is, uh, is, is, is happy and uh, this is totally natural, this is totally normal, you know. Uh, it's not the same if you win the game or if you play draw or if you lose the game. You know, the mood of all of us is different because this is our job, this is our professionality and we know that we represent one big club and uh, we have a lot of our fans who stay behind of this club and uh, all of us uh, must work together uh, to achieve our goal. Uh, yes, it was, uh, you know, like every time when you win the game, it's a moment from the dressing room and the players, uh, they are happy, they are, uh, you know, laughing, they are speak between them more than uh, when the, the result is not, uh, uh, not good for us. And having those returning players, the likes of Hughes, Andre Gray, no, they, day by day they are better. Day by day uh, they are uh, they are in the better condition, in the better uh, uh, tactical shape. Because you know uh, it's not just uh, now about condition. Uh, this is the first reason why they didn't start the game and why they didn't play more. But second is that uh, normally and they need to come in the shape uh, and the tactical shape and the tactical movement of the team, what the team will ask from them to do it. And, uh, you know, this is the process which is not easy, but OK, they are professional player. They use, I'm sure, all of them, uh, uh, a lot of different uh, system during their career. And I'm sure that uh, will not be different, difficult for them to adapt uh, with our uh, uh, shape, doesn't matter which will be. But again, uh, you know, after a long period, uh, you need sometimes uh, to come in the, your your best and uh, to be able to give uh, your maximum for the team. And how does it help the confidence of the squad having those players back? Because they're will be will be will be better for sure. Will be better because you know when you have uh, more players, uh, I expect and that we will have more competition between them. Uh, all of them is professional. All of them want to play. This is good for me, this is good for one coach, one manager, that he can choose. Uh, and when we have a lot of games, uh, two, three, three games per week, you know, you can give a rest for some of them to, 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 to protect them most of the time because of injury and normally to put some fresh player who didn't play previous game, but who can give you uh, quality uh, to replace uh, one by one and uh, normally to to use uh, all of them. I'm sure that I will use all of them. I have in this moment uh, 19 players. We expect that uh, two of them will come back uh, uh, in, the, in the next two months, uh, like Adam Massina, um, like uh, Navarro. And we will see now, you know, with these players, what we have now, how we can uh, uh, use and to, to, to fix the first 11, the best and uh, who can, which can give us result. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Vladimir. Hi. Um, I, I, it was interesting you mentioned there about, um, you know, after relegation, the, the psychology of the players needs to change because it was interesting um, at the end of last season, Scott Parker, the, the Fulham manager, said that it, it took Fulham after they were relegated quite a long time just to sort of switch their mentality and, and start to be happy again. Are there, are there any things that, that you do in particular or that you've asked you know the, the club to do or whatever just to to maybe help the psychology of the players are, are there any techniques that you use we work uh, day by day and i have a day by day meeting with the uh, with the board of the club with the sport director with the, with the, with our owner and uh, uh, normally we, we, we think about these things we know the, the our position the, our situation from the beginning of the year uh, we recognize the problems, where is the problems, and now we try to, to work on these problems, to fix it and to, 
uh, have uh, to create one team who will be happy to be here, who will be with their mind, with their heart, with their body, with, with, with Watford FC in the championship. This is our main target, this is our main goal, what we need to do to prepare these guys uh, to work hard day by day to win the games. Our target is game by game, to, to follow every next game, every next opponent is most important important uh, opponent for us and uh, our target is in every game the same, we want to win the game and you know how you said it's uh, you said the name of the of the of the coach of the of the full lamp he who who has been in the in this situation previous year and uh, he said i'm sure that he said it, it's not easy but okay this is uh, this is our job this is our job our job is not easy job and uh, your job is not easy job the same each job have some some uh, difficult moment some happiness moment and uh, you know you need to you need to manage it just one other question from me, just more on a sort of a human level. You know, you've you've come in, you've had so 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 many things going on, and then all these games coming thick and fast. Are you in, are you enjoying this experience? Because it, it's 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 relentless, is the word. You know, just coming thick and fast all the time. Are you enjoying it? You know, uh, I enjoy this league. Yes, I enjoy this league. I enjoy uh, you know the the, the that. Uh, we are in the championship in this moment. Uh, maybe it's not not good for the team because the team had been in the in the in the Premier League. But if you ask me uh, if I enjoy, yes, uh, I enjoy to work with my uh, my players. I enjoy to work in this training uh, ground where we have everything here. And uh, you know, when you ask me if I enjoy, I enjoy. But you know, you don't have time to enjoy. You need to be focused day by day. Yesterday we finished one game, and I start from yesterday to think about the game on Saturday. You don't have time to 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 celebrate, to be happy. To you know, you are happy less than one hour. You know, less than one hour because next game is in two three days, and you know you need to to think. Uh, uh, to take information from the medical team if everybody, every, every, everything is okay with the players who play the game, to prepare the practice, to prepare the next opponent, to, you know, a lot of things. This is what do every manager and, uh, uh, you know, when you ask if you enjoy, I enjoy my job. Yes. Perfect. It's relentless. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Well, what, what, does, uh, what have you been most impressed with with your side this season so far? Most impressed would be this uh, that uh, I understand that here is you know it's it's uh, it's tough competition. You know, most impressed is that uh, every game is a uh, new story, you know, new story for, for for that you 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 don't have easy games, you don't have uh, easy points here. You 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 know, it's 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 very competitive, it's very tough, it's very physical. And, uh, you know, this is something, uh, you know, what I know before I came here because I got a lot of information. I watched the games uh, from the championship, but, you know, it's not the same when you, when you watch from the TV and when you, when you have information from the other people and when you are live in this and when you see uh, in front of you uh, this, uh, what, what, uh, how is the football in the championship. And you said at the beginning of the season that the difficulties with pre-season and the fact that the first few games were like a pre-season for your players. Do you feel now that that period is over? And yes, I believe that, that I believe that that period is over now. That means to you know maybe we have one or two players now uh, who is not on the on the top level because of the period, but the rest of them they are. They are played 10 games, we cannot speak now about the, uh, uh, their physicality because their physicality is on the, on the high level now. And I'm sure that after this uh, international break, all these players will be available you know, to, 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 to fight for their position and who will be the best he will play. You've got Coventry City on, on Saturday. Um, they're obviously struggling in the league at the moment, but they they beat uh, Reading, for example, last last week. So, do you feel it's perhaps uh, more difficult to play teams lower down the table compared to the higher up? You said uh, now that there beat the Reading, who is the first into the team who is on the, 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 the not good position in the table. 
they are, they are, they are be the, the first one. This is the, 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 the best example here, how is the football, and that you have to, to give respect for everyone. You have to pre prepare yourself uh, for a tough game. I know that will be, and uh, I believe that my players know now that every game is uh, a tough game. Every game is uh, you must work hard from the first until the last second of the game to achieve your goal, to achieve the victory, and uh, in the football don't have presence. Nobody will give you presence. Football, you need to work hard to achieve your victory. Three points. Just if you work hard, if you are focused, if you are tactically and physically better than your opponent, you can expect that you will win the game. As I was trying to ask about Isaac's success, is he, any idea how long uh, he is out for? I, uh, my information is that he will be maybe with the team uh, after uh, beginning of January, mi beginning middle of January. Uh, if I if I remember good, that's how medical team told me that uh, middle of January maybe he will start to work with uh, with the team. And you know, we have uh, Adam uh, Masina, we have uh, Navarro who still uh, stay out, and uh, this is the players who is in this moment. Tom, Tom Dele who will stay a long period out. Vladimir, you, you spoke about how your players have adapted to your shape, but how do you think they've adapted to your philosophy and, and knowing what you want from them? If they are adapted with my philosophy and uh, with the way how, how I want to play, I believe that they understand uh, because of uh, a lot of work, what we did, uh, a lot of meetings, a lot of uh, uh, speaking, speech between us, and uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, I believe that how I said and after the game and uh, today, uh, that I believe that we, we we improved a little bit. We are better than how we how we, we were in the in the in the beginning. If we speak about the, our ball possession, if we speak about our movement when we have the ball, if we speak about our chance, how many chance we create. Uh, during the game, uh, normally we need to, to improve and some other things uh, in our defense, some other things and in our attack, in our transition games. These things never stop. You know, you can have one game that where you can score, I don't know, three, four goals. But again, in, in every game, you can find some things what you want to improve. And I'm, some co I'm one of the coaches who want to do it. You know, I'm not satisfied never with, a, with just one victory. Okay, one victory is one victory, which will give you the three points. But uh, for me, it's important that uh, all of my players will understand the the position what they have to play and uh, what they need to do, what they did good, what they didn't good, what they didn't do good, and how we can improve these things. Sure. And finally, I just want to ask about um, Nathaniel Chalabar. He seemed to to pick up a bit of a knock yesterday. Is he okay? He has problem after the um, after the the game in the dressing room. Uh, information is that he is okay. Information after uh, today morning it was that he is okay. But again, we still uh, waiting for the for this uh, recovery. What they will do in the next uh, two hours, three hours, and after that, I will have uh, complete information. Where are you going? Subscribe here first. <laughs>